Lefty's Deceiver is one of the most popular and effective streamers for saltwater applications. And they can even be used for larger freshwater species like bass, salmon, and pike. I am using a Gamagatsu SS15 in size 1 ot. However, any saltwater long shank hook will work. You will want to use a strong thread for this fly. I am using a blue Danville's 210 flat wax thread. Start your thread at the eye of the hook and snip off the excess. Then wrap down the hook shank all the way to just shy of the bend of the hook. Select two appropriate sized white hackle feathers from the center of a saddle. Turn one over and put them together, then cut off the extra after measuring. Split the two feathers and tie them in on each side of the hook shank. You will want these to extend about two to three times past the length of the hook. Snip off the excess of the feather and make multiple wraps to smooth out the feather on the hook. Now, take some flashaboo and tie it in right at the center of the bunch so that it is right on the side of the hackle. Then tie in the excess on the other side of the hackle. This fly calls for some silver tinsel. However, I like using this pearl braid. Whatever you choose, tie it in and smooth out the wraps so you get a taper. Then bring the thread close to the eye of the hook, but leave yourself some room. Start to make tight and touching wraps with the pearl braid or silver tinsel until you reach the thread. Capture the braid and snip the excess. Now, measure a medium-sized clump of white bucktail to about half the length of your hackle tail. Snip your bucktail to length on an angle. And tie in the bucktail with the snipped angle flat against the hook so it flares out the bucktail. Measure a smaller piece of white bucktail and measure this to just slightly longer than the hook. Snip this on an angle also and tie it in under the hook shank. Once secured tightly, mash the fibers and spin them a bit to cover the sides of the hook shank with the bucktail fibers. Now, measure out a clump of blue bucktail to about the same length as the top white wing. Snip it at the measurement on an angle and tie that in with smooth wraps to form a nice tapered head. Move the fibers around a bit to cover the sides of the fly. Now snip a small amount of red calf tail, or another common material for this is crystal flash, and tie it in right at the bottom of the fly. You want this to be about half the length of the hook. Smooth out the head again and cover all the red fibers. Then you can adjust the fibers again if you need to. Now, whip finish your fly with smooth wraps and snip off the tag end close. While not necessary, I like adding eyes to my fly. To do this, put the stick-on eyes evenly on each side of the fly. And the final step is to epoxy on the eyes and seal the thread wraps. I like using a product made by Solarez called Bone Dry. Put a small dab on top of the eyes and zap it with your light to cure. It's a UV light curing resin that is very thin and is applied with a paintbrush built into the cap. Now, you can cover the whole head of the fly with another layer of bone dry and zap that with your light as well, this time while spinning the fly. And there you have it, the very popular Lefty's Deceiver. 
This is a very effective bait fish pattern that moves very nicely in the water. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.